good morning from the Disney Springs bus board. So a few years ago, we went to every single Disney resort and we did detailed tours of all those resorts. So if you're interested in seeing some of those, we'll put a link in the description down below to a playlist that goes through all of them. And it kind of gives you an idea of what to expect, where to go wayfinding for the different resorts if you're coming to here to stay. It gives you like a, like a primer on where to go and what to do at each of the resorts. But that was a few years ago and some things have changed at a few of these resorts. Mainly, Caribbean Beach has been completely updated. There's things have changed, things have gone away. There are a lot of changes that happen and there was like a huge construction project just next to it in the Riviera. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna head over to Caribbean Beach, have a look around. We're not gonna do a full wayfinding video, but we will have a look around, see if we can see anything that's different. Just kind of like wander around the resort, see what it looks like nowadays. Just give you guys an updated feel for it. Cause I think the last time that we were there is in 2019 before everything shut down. So it's been a while. I'm excited to go back. I was hoping to get some food at Sebastian's Bistro, but they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And today is a Tuesday. I don't know why they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but we will go and we'll have a look at Sebastian's Bistro and we'll have a look around the whole resort. We're looking for bus stop number 16 this way. Oh, it's been a long time. King of the bus. King of the bus. King of the bus. As we're on our way to Caribbean Beach, I wanted to point out, I did find a Four Town shirt from the Australian tour in 99 before Aaron Z joined the band. So there were only four of them originally. A little bit of Four Town lore for you. All right, so we've arrived at what is the main lobby. It's called Old Port Royale. There's also a, a like a food area in here in the gift shop. I think it's called Center Town, Center Town Market. Let's go inside and have a look around. So this is all new. This used to be uh, over there somewhere, I think. And they've redone all of this. So you can call this the new old Port Royale. So the, the first thing that I saw when I came in was this pressed penny machine. Are these specific to Caribbean Beach? They're specific to the Pirates of the Caribbean? Caribbean, one of the two. But they are not specifically Caribbean Beach Resort press pennies. So yeah, as soon as you walk in, there's a sign here that says, check in in concierge to the left, Sebastian Bistro, Banana Cabana, and Disney Skyliner are straight ahead. And then off to the side over here, we've got Calypso Trading Post, which is like the gift shop here. Let's see if they've got anything interesting. Maybe some Caribbean Beach specific. Yeah, that's all that, that what this is. This is all Caribbean Beach Resort specific merchandise. Do they have special ears for Caribbean Beach? These are Caribbean Beach specific ears. That's really interesting. And of course, the Tervis Tumbler. I love a good Tervis Tumbler. Tropical Paradise. And then a shirt that says Tropical Paradise as well. Oh, wait, is this a, like a Hawaiian shirt? I don't think it's specific to Caribbean Beach, but I do like this one. This is nice. Yeah, it doesn't say Caribbean Beach anywhere on it. It just says Resort Ocean Vacation. So that shirt is not Tommy Bahama. It is just a Hawaiian shirt, so it's only 60 bucks. This, on the other hand, over here is Tommy Bahama. It's like a sweater, like a three quarter zip sweater and it is $115, wow. Another thing is they have this Banana Cabana, which is the bar out near Sebastian's Bistro. It's a shirt specific to the bar. Oh, this is the back of it too. Oh, neat, it's like a pocket tee. Oh, like a cool Christmas ornament of Old Port Royale, I like that. This is neat because I think that this is, yeah, it's a magnet. Is it, I thought maybe it would be a, a photo frame, but it's not, it's just a magnet that sort of looks like a photo frame and a 3D feeling. I love interesting and niche Disney merch. So this is a koozie for Banana Cabana, which is the bar here at Caribbean Beach Resort. That's pretty fun, right? Like, yeah, there you go. And then they also have a coffee mug for Caribbean Beach. Vera Bradley just released this Little Mermaid print and they have it here at the Calypso Trading Post. So I think you could probably get your annual pass holder discount here on this Vera Bradley merch. They have all kinds of interesting stuff in this store. Like of course, things that you might've forgotten, any sort of Advil, Tylenol, stuff like that, fingernail clippers, brushes, sewing kits. And they have little snacks and stuff like that. And they have home goods. Like you can get these mixing bowls or these plates, more snacks. And then right across the way, if you, I don't know, need a new cell phone case, they sell them here. I don't know why this one is Disney parks though. Like, why is this a Disney phone case? There's nothing. Oh, it's got a little Mickey down on the bottom right there. He was hard to see. 
so subtle. Here's something that I just noticed that I thought was interesting. Down here, they sell milk, but it's just regular old cow's milk. And I was like, I wonder if they sell any sort of like alternative milk. And I came over here and they do, but it's in very small quantities. Like down here, we've got some almond milk down there. Like a really tiny thing of almond milk. Oh, and I, I didn't even realize that right next to it is soy milk too. They do have a little collection of some stuff for the 50th, like this board game down here is from the Vault Collection. Same thing with these playing cards. Um, but then they have like the 50th Joffrey's blend. They got some 50th popcorn, these 50th ear headbands, and then uh, 50th sweatshirts too, hoodies and candles. Well, this is, this is interesting to me. It is a castle sugar cookie kit. And it's, it's all decorated for the 50th, but nowhere on it does it say 50th. But it comes with, you know, like six cookies, some icing and some sanding sugars. I didn't know that it was called sanding sugars. Huh, how much is it? Doesn't say. What a very interesting souvenir. Like, would you take that as a souvenir or would you just like make it on a rainy day in your room? So from Calypso Trading Post, we are headed over to the grab and go entrance, which is Center Town Market. I might see what they have on their mobile ordering but I'm also gonna go through the grab and go. Oh, maybe not. There's a sign over here that gives different times and hours for various things around and Spyglass Grill is open. I thought it wasn't open yet since the shutdown, but it is. It's open from 11.30 till 10 for lunch and dinner. So I think we might be heading over there. I will look at the mobile order for this for Centertown Market, but from what I remember, Spyglass Grill was real good. I was just, just looking at the mobile ordering for Centertown Market. Also, I wanted to point out that there's like there's a, a little like stuffed lizard up there. I don't know why, if that's part of a scavenger hunt. There you go, that's where it's at. But I was looking through it and it's pretty eclectic. Like there's kind of a lot of stuff. You can get a half chicken, a roasted half chicken. You can get a bacon cheddar burger. You can get a Cuban sandwich, a barbecue pulled pork, a turkey sandwich, a chicken bowl, fish tacos, pizza. You can get a whole pizza, plant-based fried yucca bowl, an impossible burger. Yeah, kind of sounds like there's a lot of options here and it all sounds pretty good. But yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna go over to Spyglass because I think I remember that being really good. It was like tacos and stuff. We'll go find out. They do have some like photo options right here. So like you could do these little frames and take some selfies or take some photos. Oh, the 30th anniversary of Kirby and Beach Resort? That's interesting. And then there's this one here that says, it's my birthday. Side note, it wasn't a lizard, it was a crocodile. So have you seen this crocodile? I saw one of them, I saw this green one. I'm guessing there's three of them. If found, please return to the nearest food and beverage cast member for your resort, for your reward. Do I get it down from there? How do you get it down? That sounds impossible, right? I don't think I could reach that. I'm tall, I'm six foot two. I would have to jump. Oh, look at this. It is so far up there, man. All right, I talked to a cast member about the alligators and they said it's, it's a way to interact with the kids, for the cast members to interact with the kids. They go on a search, they try to find one. If they find one, they get it and they uh, they bring it to a cast member and they get a little prize. They get to pick two prizes out of a treasure chest. So, sounds kind of neat to me. I'll be on the lookout, see if I see any more of them. I'm not gonna grab them or anything. I'll let the kids do that, but I wanna see if I can find, I like, I like a good scavenger hunt. I'm gonna head into the grab and go area and have a look around, see if I see anything. Ooh, look, it's like a slice of pepperoni pizza for $9. All right, Cuban sandwich. You don't even have to mobile order it. You can get it through the grab and go area here. Man, if you guys ever wanna know what my weakness is for food, it's chocolate chip cookies. Like if there's a chocolate chip cookie out and I'm like hungry, I would buy this. I'm gonna, I'm saving room for eating at the Spyglass Grill, but who it's calling my name. How much is it? 350 for a chocolate chip cookie. They have some other cold items in here, like a, like a nice chicken Caesar salad, it looks like. A turkey sandwich. Oh, and you can get other milks here too. You get some cold soy milks. And then uh, Ripple. I don't know what the plant-based protein is for it. But yeah, that's it, that's it. I don't see any like oat milk or anything like that. Can get on Crestables. What is this? A key lime tart. Ooh, that looks very delicious. What makes this? Okay, there's a, there's a thing here that says it's the Walt Disney World 50th almond raspberry cheesecake. Oh, there's like a little, a little thing on the very back back there. Kind of hard to see, but it's in there. And of course, beers and wines and various like ciders and things that you can get. You can get whole bottles of wine or larger bottles of wine down here. They do have a little tiny allergy friendly section over here. Not much, just these two things. These surf sweets, which I believe are just like organic fruit bears. And then these four different, maybe three, four, four different enjoy life cookies. Came back into the seating area of Centertown Market. I like how they kind of decorated the pipes coming out of the wall for the Coke freestyle machines. 
Yeah, these Coke Freestyle machines are working and running. Look at this mural back here. It's really cool. I like this a lot. So I feel like, would you call this a hidden Mickey? I might call it a hidden Mickey. I'm gonna do it, I mean, this is a hidden Mickey. I called it. Came out of like the very back exit of Centertown Market. So I went through the entire thing. Like it's all back over there. And then I wanted to point out as soon as I walked out, we can hear them. The Purple Martins are here and there's a special Purple Martin birdhouse and there's a sign. I'm so glad that there's a sign explaining what a Purple Martin is and why it's important to Walt Disney World. But I feel like this is also like a great vantage point if you are a bird watcher and you want to watch the Purple Martins. This is a lower birdhouse compared to the ones at Epcot. The ones at Epcot are up way higher than this and harder to see the birds. Yeah, you always want to have Purple Martins near the water. This is wild. The sign says, in 2005, Walt Disney World hosted just six pairs of Purple Martins and they added new nesting sites and the population has soared to well over 100 pairs of birds. Wow. Just a couple of real quick facts about the Purple Martins. They are insectivores, so they only eat insects. They don't eat human food, which is why they're great to have here at Walt Disney World, because there is a lot of human food around. And also they spend their winters down in South America, and then their summers up here in North America, they fly kind of up towards the Carolinas and stuff like that too. But like Disney has provided the houses here for them, so they often come back here. And they said it takes just 14 to 16 days between when the egg is laid and a hatchling hatches, which is extremely fast in, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know how fast normal eggs hatch, but that sounds really fast. Also, I think the last time that we came here and walked around Caribbean Beach, Riviera was still under construction. Skyliner was still under construction, which it's running now, and they were painting these buildings. So all, all these buildings have a fresh coat of paint on them, looking beautiful, and there is no more construction happening that I see at least. There might be a few things here and there, some like maintenance things, but there's no major construction projects happening here at Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh, there's a sign here for recreation beyond the pool, giant chest, cornhole, and giant blocks down here. Also connect four, they didn't even mention that. So we're going down towards the marina and this is the lighthouse over here. I think they do like fishing tours out of here. So we've done fishing at Walt Disney World before and it was fantastic. We'll put a link to that in the description down below too really enjoyed it it was like concierge fishing it is also set up for the little sprite boats they're not here right now i don't know if they're going to come back or what but it is set up to handle those boats to like rent those out hmm. so right now i think the only place that you can rent those is at grand floridian and the polynesian maybe over at fort wilderness but i think that's it it's kind of interesting the way that sound travels because we're all the way over here away from riviera and i can hear people like hooping and hollering going down the slide over there I want to stay at Riviera again. I really enjoyed that. We'll put a link to our stay at the Riviera in the description down below because it was a good stay. I don't think we've ever stayed at Caribbean Beach. We'll definitely have to change that. Ah, now that I'm down here, I think that the giant blocks may have been replaced with Connect 4. Cornholes right here, whatever you guys call this, beanbag toss. And then giant chess as well. And there's a couple of chairs out here too. Nice little spot to sit and relax. I'm in a shady spot right now and it's very comfortable out. It is heading in towards summer, so it is just going to get hotter as the months progress. But right now, it's real great. Oh, there's just a table over here, too. If you wanted to eat out here by the water, very secluded from everybody. I wanted to say that I think that this is a great resort because any of the Skyliner resorts, in my opinion, are great resorts because of the fact that they have the Skyliner. This resort is gigantic, though. So if you were staying over here, it would take you a long time to get over to the Skyliner station for sure. It's quite a walk. Oh, I did also want to mention that if you were having dinner or lunch or something over at Riviera, oh, I said this in the tour, these tour helicopters fly over top of this resort a lot. So, but if you were having dinner or lunch or something over at Riviera, you can walk over there. Like this pathway does connect all the way over to Riviera and then connects back to Caribbean Beach on the other side of Riviera. So if you were staying at Riviera, you could have dinner or a meal here, or if you're staying here, you could have dinner or a meal over at Riviera. So we are just at the backside of Old Port Royale. This is where we started the video back here. We're back here right now. We're in between this and Sebastian's Bistro. Uh, Centertown Market, where we came out over here, this is where the Purple Martins were. This is the lighthouse. But this kind of shows you how large this resort is. And it does include Riviera over there in this map. So, and to get to the Skyliner Station. So. If you were staying here, you could cut across right here, but I feel like if you're staying at Martinique, yeah, it's a it's a hike over to Skyliner. Well, I take that back because there is the Riviera station too. So there are basically two stations here at Caribbean Beach. They have the one over there by Jamaica and the one in between Aruba and the Riviera. So 
I guess it's not too bad any way you slice it. So we did just stop by the back exit of Old Port Royal. There's Centertown Market over there. This is the backside of Sebastian's we're gonna go see. And then this is the pool over here, but we're gonna head back towards Banana Cabana and Sebastian's. Real quick though, some of these like things that are happening sound really fun. This Magic Kingdom attraction scavenger hunt, you pick up clue sheets at the front desk and then you look around for different, uh, like right here, I can see the Walt Disney World Railroad over here. I don't know if you can read that on that back door over by the pool. So that's, there you go. There's one of the, one of the answers. That's the letter D. 50 celebration heritage pool parties. You can do 70s pop culture, Magnus Kingdom heritage, heritage resorts, 50 celebration s'mores. It's kind of amazing. Crafts, tie-dye, Skyliner scavenger hunt. What? Moving on to the star. What is today? Today's Tuesday. What are we seeing? Cars 2. All right. Uh, and then they have a running trail, 1.22 mile trail around Barefoot Bay. And then there is a playground too, which is on the island in the center of the resort or in the center of the, center of the lake. Yeah, so we came around the back and this is Banana Cabana. It looks like they do have food here. I'm gonna check the menu really quick. Walk up entrance for beverages. Walk up beverages. There's the QR code if you wanna see what the selections are for today. So yeah, Banana Cabana, and then right next to it, Sebastian's, which I, like I said, is closed today. But it's closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But this is for lounge seating. I'm gonna have a look at the menu. All right, here's a look at the food menu. It's, it's kind of good, but it is just like a bar menu. You know, not a lot of stuff either. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna head over to Spyglass. And I know, I know it's kind of silly for me to say that it wasn't a very big selection over there at Banana Cabana and I'm heading to Spyglass, which doesn't have a very big selection either. But uh, I think that I will like the food over at Spyglass better. And I have to correct myself. I did say that there was no construction happening, but it looks like they're doing some work to the bridge over here leading out to Caribbean Key. Maybe just doing some repainting. Just got some scaffolding set up here. Doesn't look like anything too intense. Oh yeah, and it also runs underneath. I don't even know if I could show you guys that, but I can see down underneath there, there is some scaffolding underneath the bridge. So maybe they're doing some replacement, some like repairs, some minor things to this bridge. Also, there is a pool slide here. I don't know why we haven't stayed here yet. This resort uh, has all the stuff that we like. Skyliner, pool slides, delicious food. We're gonna stay here for sure, like we need to. So I am actually taking quite the walk and I'm going all the way over there, you can kind of see some buildings yonder. That's where we're headed to. We're gonna go over there by that bridge, go over the bridge or under the bridge, whichever one we choose. I like going under it because we get to see our little friends down there. Yeah, oh look, it's a small world. E, we found more of the scavenger hunt. During the construction of Old Port Royale, there was a temporary food location here that was located inside of a tent, a huge air conditioned tent that was right here. And like I said, it's all gone because they have completed construction on Old Port Royale. Oh, it looks like we found some more work. It looks like they're doing some work on the gutters out here. Like I said, nothing major, just some like light upkeep happening around the resort. Ooh, another thing that we love is here at the resort and that's hammocks. Although these hammocks seem like they've seen better days, they are starting to do, starting to degrade a little bit. Also, they're mowing the lawn around here. So if you guys hear any of that like rumbling, that's what's happening. There are also a lot of pools at this resort. I think there's one, two, three, four, five pools, maybe more. But just like off the top of my head, the various different, oh no, probably six over there too. Yeah, like each of the different areas has its own pool. And then there's the one main pool too. Like a lot of, a lot of options. If the main pool is too crowded, any of the other ones will be less crowded. They're not as like exciting and themed, but they are there for you to cool off because it is starting to get hot again. Uh, I know it's still springtime, but right now it is just afternoon and it is 82 degrees out. So just keep that in mind if you're coming down here to Florida, it's already hot. So I know this is kind of confusing. We were just back over there where that ladder is. That's where they're doing the, uh, the work on the gutters or the downspouts. And I saw a pool over here, but we're trying to get across this road. Remember when I was like, oh, we have to get over that bridge on the other side of that bridge. We either go over it or under it. And I said, I'd like to go under it because then we get to see our friends. Here they are. These are our friends. Because this is a pedestrian only walkway, they wanted to make sure no bikes or golf carts or anything were coming through here so they didn't make it wide enough for anybody to come under here. By putting our little friends here. Hello, they're always looking, always watching. You turn around, still watching you. Ah, this brings back memories of when we came out here to do 
updates on when the Skyliner was being built. We would come over here and have a look, see if we could figure anything out, see if we could see them doing testing. And now here it is, built, fully operational, and running and glorious. I love the Skyliner. It's so nice and convenient. Something else that I wanted to point out with talking about the temperature is that in the summer in Florida, we have these sea breeze storms. So because Florida's a peninsula, the breeze from the Gulf Coast and the breeze from the ocean come in and they hit right in the center, which happens to be Central Florida, Orlando area, Disney area. And that causes an upwelling and that brings in summer storms, like real intense summer storms lots of lightning a lot of rain but they do only last for about an hour or so and then they're done so if you are here during the summer and you see a storm rolling in don't fear just kind of find a spot in the shade like in the like sheltered for a little bit wait it out don't run back to the resort just wait it out because it will come and go pretty quickly the majority of the storms come and go very quickly it is very humid afterwards but uh, that's the nature of the beast down here in florida it's just humid all the time so keep that in mind if you're coming down here in the summer. Also, it's a million degrees down here. So we've made it over here to the Trinidad section and this is where the Spyglass Grill is. There's a map over here. I'm gonna go over here and show you guys exactly where we're at on the map. So just to give you guys some wayfinding here, this is old Port Royal, Centertown Market, Sebastian's Bistro, Disney Riviera. We came all the way over, we went underneath the bridge right there. This is where we are and this is where we're headed to is Spyglass Grill right there. This is the Trinidad section. And yeah, there's a pool there, pool there, pool there pool there there's one at Riviera there's uh, a pool here and then the main pool wow there's a lot of pools all the way down here in the middle of Trinidad we've got the spyglass grill I hope that it lives up to what I said it did because the last time that we ate here was when it first opened and I remember it being delicious but you know things change around the Walt Disney World Resort we will find out today so the menu looks pretty similar to what we saw over at Centertown but they do have these moho pork tacos and that's what i got and then they also have uh chocolate chip cookies so i got a chocolate chip cookie i got this guava lemonade to try oh it just went away but it was right there guava lemonade here's some of the baked goods that they have yes chocolate chip cookie is all me so i found some additional seating for spyglass just on the other side this is guest laundry and then there's the pool then there's spyglass over there but this is what i got i got my moho pork tacos with plantain and yucca fries or yucca chips I got my chocolate chip cookie, and then this is the guava lemonade. I'm interested to try that. It's not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but it sounds delicious. So before I set up the tripod and everything, I just wanna give a taste to this, this like guava lemonade here. That is interesting, it's super sour. It said that it was like with Minute Maid lemonade, but it tastes like fresh lemonade with a hint of that Minute Maid aftertaste. Weird. Yeah, I just wish it was a little bit taller but that's good. I like it a lot. Kind of puts you in the island spirit. Makes you feel like you're in the Caribbean, right? All right, so these are the Moho pork tacos. There are three tacos topped with pickled vegetable slaw, cilantro, lime, crema, cojita cheese, and pico de gallo served with your choice of side, which in my case, you can get either French fries or plantain and yucca fries and I, or chips, and I got those. They're very good. Also, there's a little lime in there that it comes with, so you can sprinkle some lime on your tacos. Do you guys like eating lunch with me when we come out to do these things? I like eating lunch with you guys. Oh, the yucca fries are like super. Yucca fries are very crispy. Plantain chips, not as much, but I think I like the flavor of the plantain chips better. So, all right, let's get at least one bite in here. One of these pork tacos. Pick one up, have a look at it here. I mean, it looks pretty good, delicious. There is a lot of cheese on it, so the cheese kind of has a, a strong flavor, so the cheese kind of like overpowers everything. But it is good, like the pickled vegetables, pickled slaw, give it like a nice fresh, like a pickled kick, you know what I mean? Like that vinegar punch. And then the, uh, the pork's not overly like salty or spicy or anything like that. It's good. Yeah, this is great. Like. I had other options there, like a burger or like a chicken tenders, things like that. I'm glad I got this. It was kind of a decision between this and the, uh, and the Cuban sandwich. And I'm glad I got this because I could have gotten the Cuban sandwich earlier over at some of the other places, but I don't think I could have gotten these tacos anywhere other than right here at Spyglass. And they are good. So they do have fish tacos over at Centertown Market, but I, don't, I didn't see anywhere else that you could get these mojo pork tacos. So yeah. I'm glad I came all the way over here. I do this all the time. We talked about the chocolate chip cookie being like my go-to and I will get it. And I forget these chocolate chip cookies are not really that good. 
They're not bad, but there are, there are definitely way better chocolate chip cookies out there than this one that came wrapped in, in saran wrap from Spyglass Grill. I think that, I don't know, I'm satisfied with it, but there are better chocolate chip cookies out there. So yeah, this really was just kind of like a stop by the Caribbean beach to check it out. Have a look around. There's not really anything going on. Everything looks great. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop on the Skyliner, head over to Riviera, and just kind of like meander through Riviera. I just want to get on the Skyliner, really. And then we'll get back on the bus and head back to Disney Springs. There is a Joffrey's coffee stand right outside of the Skyliner here at Caribbean Beach. And I wanted to point out this seasonal beverage right now. It's called the Game Changer Cold Brew Coffee. Also, Cold Brew Coffee already has a higher caffeine content. A shot of espresso, more caffeine, Irish cream syrup, and light cream. That sounds like it would uh, like change your day for sure. There is also a special Skyliner coffee here. It's called the Toffee Flight. It is latte blended with sea salt, caramel toffee, dark chocolate, topped with toffee crumbles, and a cloud of whipped cream. Yes. All right, we're getting on the Skyliner, heading over to Riviera. I think they're probably gonna put me in a cabin with other people. That was a nice thing that it was happening during the pandemic or when everything was just starting back up in the pandemic was you would get your own cabin. Yeah, not a lot happening over here. Everything does have a fresh coat of paint on it though, so that's nice. It does look really nice here. It's such a nice ride, even though we're just going to the other resort. I think we'll just grab a bus from Riviera back to Disney Springs. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It's like two minutes, three minutes. As a matter of fact, if you're over here, closest to the Skyliner station at Caribbean Beach, it might actually be easier to go to Riviera for breakfast and lunch and dinner and things like that than it would be to go all the way over to Centertown over there. And just like that, from Caribbean Beach, here we are, the Riviera Resort. Oh, you guys can't see that, can you? Big old glare on it. Yeah. I love this resort, it's so nice. Speaking of this resort, I know that we stayed here and we kind of toured around a little bit when we were staying here, but did we do a full tour of this resort? I'll have to come back one day and do a detailed walk around for sure. And we still need to go up and eat at Topolino's Terrace for breakfast. They have a character's breakfast up there that everybody says is really good. So we'll definitely be giving it a try one day. It's also interesting, the two different themes. So this is the Riviera, like the Riviera Resort, both French and Italian Riviera. And then Caribbean Beach is of course the Caribbean. And it just, it, the two resorts feel wildly different, even though they are both on the same lake, right next to each other. Like you, we just walked from one to the other, just getting off the Skyliner. And it just feels completely different here because it definitely has a different feel. Like it, it is it is quieter here. It is more green here. And it's a little bit duller, like a little bit, like the, the colors are not as bright. Came out front of the Riviera and this is probably one of the best hidden Mickeys I've seen on property. It even has a little nose and eyes too. Oh, I just found a sign over here at Riviera that says Disney's Magical Express this way. Magical Express is no longer. I wonder why they haven't covered up this sign. This is a vintage sign. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Caribbean Beach. I know this is the Riviera, but it was a good day. I'm glad we came back out. It was interesting to see how everything looks now, how it feels too. It feels nice. It feels like a nice, relaxing beach resort vacation, as opposed to this. This feels like a calmer, still relaxing, but not as like, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit of a party atmosphere over there at Caribbean Beach. So I don't know, no construction going on. The only thing you have to worry about are helicopters flying overhead. The Skyliner makes it really easy to get to Hollywood Studios or to Epcot. Lots of dining options, except for Sebastian's on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Not sure why that is, but it's also only open for dinner. So if you're here on a Tuesday or Wednesday, you can pop over here to Riviera and you don't have to worry about eating at Sebastian's. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>